Hello there, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Today, we have an unboxing video. These are supposed to be the sexiest boots ever and I sure hope so, because I need them. So we're gonna do the unboxing of these boots here. It's supposed to be the sexiest things ever. Very attractive on me, and I hope that they're actually good because my life will literally depend on them. And we'll find out. So let's kick it off, huh? All right. Let's get this down. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't hack open my uh, chair because that would be a real bummer. All right. Boxes. Woo yeah! Now, right here, my buddy Larry he always hooks me hooks me up with some stickers and stuff, and oh, the invoice, boring paperwork. Woo! All right. So let's get these boots out. Yeah. Oh hey, check it out. <laughs> Aqua Seal, even better. Hey, don't bump the camera tripod. All right. Let's get this out now. When I said sexy boot unboxing video, what did you think? Gucci? Prada? Heck no! La Sportiva! Now, the major critical thing about this is these boots better fit because I have no time to break them in. Boo, yeah! Sexy, I love it. Now the instructions, wherever they were that I just threw over there, said <laughs> oh, wait, that's the invoice. No, no, no. Ah. Now, that's the other thing about uh, Larry at Mountain Tools. He hooks you up with this big old instruction list of how to take care of your boots. And you might say, instruction list for boots? Darn straight. These things are like six, seven hundred bucks. Prada, eat your heart out. <laughs> now, Double lined, traditional laces. I was looking at the other, but I've got these Mondo old feet and that happened in Antarctica. Let me stand up, that's annoying. That happened in Antarctica a couple years ago. I skied across the continent, trudging along. It used to be size 10 and a half boot and a little bit wide. Now I've got these like big wide feet. It looked like a, I don't know, what was a Sasquatch. Yeah, that's right. My feet aren't very long, but there's something about skiing for 82 days that just kind of warped out the width of my foot. Now I've got to buy these ridiculously huge size 47 boots. What does that translate to in American? Sizes kind of like basketball player, maybe a short basketball player at 6'1 or I don't know, however big basketball players are now. Uh, warranty cards, blah, blah, blah. Now that's the thing about these boots is they're what are called double line boots. So when you lace these things up, there's actually two boots in here. Check that out! Oh, that's attractive. I like that. Now this looks like some crazy slipper sort of thing. Palau, Cordura, who knows. And you, you put your foot in there. Get your foot in there. And then you slip it into this boot. And you can see there's some thermal thingies in there and whatnot. And hopefully that'll do it because... I'm headed to Russia in like a week. Now, should I have had these boots about a month ago so I can train in them and break them in? Yes, that was dumb. But here we are because my Everest boots, my Denali boots, they're too heavy. They're five pounds. I don't even know how much this weighs. Let's find out how much these weighs. Oh, wait. Let's put the liner boots back in there. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to grab the tripod. Now you can see, Let's tilt this down. That it's actually pretty good fight ah, to get those boot liners back in there. Now, of course it's warm, it's about 70 degrees. How are you gonna do this at minus 20 degrees? I don't even know. So what was I gonna do again? Oh yeah, I'm gonna weigh these things. <laughs> All right. So I've got a handy dandy scale. Get my video out here. Sorry I didn't have my scale ready, but I just thought of it because people always wonder, well, how much do those weigh? Thank you, Larry at Mountain Tools. You are the man. 
All right, boots, weight. How much do these weigh? Ah, a super light, three pounds, eight ounces. Here, let me hold that for you. All right, that's right. Three pounds, eight ounces. Now, you, you might wonder why in the world do you have to wear all these heavy boots? Well. Do you think your fancy flip-flops are going to work climbing a glacier in Russia? Probably not, people. So instead, you have to wear double boots. Not even single boots. Here, let me show you what a single boot looks like. Just to give you an idea, here's my uh, dirty Keens, because I hike in these too. These are what are called a single boot. Just regular boot, they don't even have thin slate or insulation. I've got those sort of things. But instead, this is what you have to take. Now here's the critical problem. I don't know if these fit. And assuming I can get past that critical problem, I have to be able to get my crampons on there. Oh boy. Now what the heck are crampons you might ask? Well, there are these fangy, steel-toed, sexy, look like something out of the Avengers or, I, I don't know, Avengers, who else? Um, yeah, whatever. Oh, DC Comic World, yeah. Superman or, oh no, Batman. Batman might wear one of these crawling up the wall. So what these do is these allow me to walk on a glacier or up an icy hill relatively safely. Now you might think, hey, could those one inch fangs punch through your foot? No, because I'm not gonna damage the new boots, especially if they don't fit, because I only have like four days to return them but you can actually punch a hole in your boot, but it will punch a hole in your calf. <laughs> Fortunately, I've not done this, but I know one, one climber, she, she was going up San Gregorio just outside of Los Angeles. She stumbled and that crampon went shook one inch into her calf. Not, not a risk, because I'd pretty much go through it and it might bleed to death, but all the way into her calf. Nasty! So she literally stumbled and punch those things all the way into her leg. Ouch! So, two factors here. If my crampons don't fit, or the boots don't fit, I'm screwed. So I sure hope this works, because this climb in Russia and me keeping my toes and surviving and making it up is all predicated on these boots fitting. So, I'm gonna lower the camera here. I'm going to cut the camera and we'll lower it down and we'll see if these boots work. Okay, down at this normal level. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is, uh, and I'm just going to wear my little white socks. I just want to see if these things fit at all. Let me go get my wool socks because it doesn't make sense. I'm not going to wear cotton socks. One moment. Here's my little mascot. Her name is Muffin. She probably won't look up. Say hi, Muffin. Hi. Hello, YouTube. Now, Muffin can't wear boots, but I can. Uh oh, Muffin's done. Okay. Put your foot in there. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, now it's ridiculously long. I mean, my my thumb. Where, where's the end of my toe? My thumb. It's about there. See, right there. <laughs> okay, you got this, uh, I don't know, cool, cool sort of lacer sort of system. That, that's pretty slick. All right. This is the right boot. At least I put it on the right foot. <laughs> okay. You grab this thing here. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I won't lace these up yet. So far, it feels good. Feels a little snug across the width. Let me see if I could just put my other foot straight in. Oh, this boot. Oh, yeah. Hey, I don't have to take these things apart. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, these are called La Sportiva Barunce. And why did I go with these? Because my buddy Larry said they were probably the ones that are best fit for waffle feet or Sasquatch feet. So think about that, people. All right, so yeah, get this laced up. Now it's kind of a process because you got to be able to do this with 
mittens on and gloves and holy smokes. These are ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like a Cylon. Uh, have you ever, uh, do you, you guys ever see Battlestar Galactica? Do you remember the Cylons? If you didn't, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you did, you remember those crazy outfits of this theoretical, now we're talking about the new school or the old school Battlestar Galactica, not that new school stuff. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Okay, round one complete. The boots do fit. I feel a little bit of snug on the width here. Ow. Now these are size 47, and that's huge. Ah. But I was told you gotta wear these things for like a week around the house. Don't hike in them. Don't trash them, because if you get to return them, they're almost $700. Ugh. Okay, now my feet are already getting hot. Now, yes, I've got to see if the crampons fit. I don't know. Whoo, boy. All right. I'm going to take the boot off so I can test to see if the crampons fit. I don't know why I keep looking at the LCD here. Oh, okay. See, where's my foot? Okay. Now loosen this up, take this off, get my foot out of there. Yeah. Ah. Okay. If the crampon doesn't fit, I'm toast. Whew, boy. <laughs> and I've got the extension bars on here too. Oh boy. Please, 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 please fit. Please fit. Okay. There's that. <laughs> oh boy. That's like my Everest boots. Oh, there's cat hair over everything. That's disgusting. All right. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> yes! The crampons fit on the boots. I am in business. Now, I leave for Russia. In a week. Oops. I uh, put the toe thingy wrong, but that's okay. I'm sure there's a name for it, and all the mountaineers are like, roll my eyes. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, I'll put the toe clasp thing where it's supposed to be. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Everybody's always a critic. I'm already reading in the comments, that guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to die. I actually do know what I'm doing, because I've been on Denali twice. I've been up Kilimanjaro. I've been in... Mexico climbing Orizabe, Nixacoatl. I've been there. I know what I'm doing. Have I climbed Everest or K2 or ah, Annapurna? Oh, no, but I've been there. So this little guy clamps here. And that's the thing about this little flimsy piece of steel. It's just spot welded. That's it. Just spot welded. That does not inspire confidence, but these actually, crampons, actually fit on these boots better than my Everest Mille, or in the French say, Mille. I don't know. Maybe that's how the French don't say it. But the point is, the boots do fit. Yes! Fish pump. Yes! Ah! Ugh. I just slashed myself with a crampon. <laughs> Let me show you. Ouch. Uh, where's my camera? Look at that. <sighs> okay, so crampons are dangerous. Now I gotta go put some antibacterial whatever on my leg. <laughs> Lesson, don't handle crampons and do a YouTube video at the same time. So put the crampon boot down and do the fist bump. Yes! <sighs> Good, thank you, Lord. My boots fit. They feel okay. Heel a little loose. I could always put a little bit of thing in there. The crampons fit. I am in business. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So now do the boots feel good long term and everything? I don't know. I just got them. This is what an unboxing video is all about. Hey, kitty. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the cat on the video one more time. Come here, kitty. Oh, well. Anyway, so these... Feel pretty darn sexy. Uh, let me show you that they what, what they actually are. So this says 
size 13 in America. Pfft. Ow. I, I don't wear a size 13 in America. That's okay. It's because I've got that whopper wide foot and that's life because if I get the boot any smaller, it's not going to feel comfortable. Now these are relatively thin wool socks. I have really big Mondo mountaineering socks that I'm going to have to wear, so it's going to be snug. Oh, here comes the cat. <laughs> oh, the cat's smart. She doesn't like being around me when I'm doing one of these videos. Anyway, these, uh, these boots are the bomb so far. Ah, ow! Ah! These boots are the bomb so far. My feet are already on fire. Whew, so the uh, La Sportiva Barunces, gotta be one of the sexiest boots in the world other than my Millet Everest boots, which look like I'm Ronald McDonald. So, <laughs> ah, thank you, Lord. Whew. Uh, thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. My name is Aaron Lindsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope this helped you out. Simple boots. Now, you might wonder what it's like to actually walk in these boots before I finish my unboxing video. <laughs> they are not comfortable. They're like ski boots, but even bigger. So here, let me, let me, let me flip the camera around and I'm going to show you what it's like. My sexy calves. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna chase the cat. The cat ran away. Good choice, kitty. Where's she up there? So yes, these boots are not comfortable. Nothing really is in mountaineering or polar exploration. It never is, and that's just the way of life is. If you want to be comfortable, go to Hawaii. But if you want real adventure, you got to go to the extremes. Hey, check it out. The sun has moved. I'm going to give a plug for my buddy Larry. This doesn't mean anything if you're a climber, but mountaintools.com is an ombre sort of thing. If you need boots in the middle of Antarctica, on Everest, on Aconcagua, wherever you are on Earth, or climbing gear, whatever, Larry is the man at, anyway, let me hold this up, Mountain Tools. And why? Because he can ship anywhere on Earth and actually get it to you. It's not, oh, I can't get it because blah, blah, blah. No, Larry can do it. If you're a climber and an adventurer, like I'm shooting for my TV show, World Beyond, Larry is the hookup at mountaintools.com. Definitely check it out.